Hey YouTube, a client slash friend of mine, Matt, was asking about how to record uh, both the guest and his audio in pristine, good audio, and also have like a unified track in Audio Hijack, say an MP3 that you could use just to quickly be able to scan and listen to the uh, recording, make time note, time code notes, things like that, um, but still have the like high quality individual tracks without having to then combine them, which you can do after the fact, obviously, in any sort of editor. But to save that time, isn't there a way within Audio Hijack to do that all at once? And the answer is no. Actually, end of the video. Sorry. <laughs> no, just kidding. Of course. That's why I'm making this video. And that's why you're watching it. So let's get to it. Okay, so uh, we'll just start a new session just to keep it simple. We've got a new capture device. Let's say it's my Scarlett USB, the mic I'm talking on. Uh, and I just want track one. I actually have a preset that I use for that. That's just track one of my Scarlett. And I'm going to also capture uh, application audio. So let's say it's uh, Skype, possibly. It could be Zoom, it could be anything else. One important thing in here is, of course, I'm going to not include my own audio input in that. I'm going to fill the playback gaps with silence so that just in case somehow the app shuts off but my end keeps recording, it's just gonna keep everything locked and loaded where it should be. As you've seen in some of my other videos, I like to usually have, uh, let's say, a volume meter on each one. I'm not gonna go too in depth here because we've covered some of that in other com other uh, videos, but, uh, and then I might want a meter. I always forget where the meters are. Meters, they're, they're under the meters tab, in case you're curious. <laughs> uh, let's go peak RMS meter, peak RMS meter. So that allows me to record them set the volume and adjust it if it's too quiet, let's say in the recording, but for some reason I'm hearing them loud enough or, or vice versa, then you may need, depending on how it's all set up and what your how your system is configured, you might need an output device to send the audio, uh, let's say back from yourself, from your device into your, my headphones, depending on where your headphones are plugged into, they're plugged into my Scarlett as well. So I might need that as well in the chain. I don't know, I find when I hit record, sometimes things happen and I forget, I can never remember which way it needs to be. Do I need the output device there or is my Mac gonna take care of it? And sometimes I set things up differently on my Mac elsewhere in something like Loopback and it messes it all up. So I just like to have the output device in the chain uh, for my, where my, I know my headphones are going to be. And then I can always come in here and if I'm getting a duplicate of the audio, somehow I just turn the block off and then I don't hear it. Next, what I want is a recorder for all, all those, each of those tracks. And so ideally, depending on what you're gonna be using, and again, this is a, something I've covered in other videos, but I like to use uncompressed AIFF, FF, uh, recordings and uh, just have as pristine a quality as possible. Just making a note here, you can set date, time, recording, and you can also add your own words in here. Let's say Matt's voice. Um, just, I find it helps when I'm looking at a file, or folder full of files to have uh, something set up so that I can identify it easy, more easily. And uh, so let's say guest recording. Time probably isn't that, as, that important, so you can just use date. Um, and again, you can set this up. I have them set up as a presets. So I, this one will go to the podcast folder. This is just AFF. Um, if I'm using my PR40, my mic, and I want it to name that, it'll be date time PR40 recording and go to a certain folder. So you can kind of have those set up on a per show basis as a template. So that if you need to preset, um, so if you need to, you can adjust that. So that's going to give me when I hit record Skype on one track, my mic on another track, individual audio files, which are great for sending to a podcast editor like me. Um, but then for in the case where you want to maybe have a unified recording of that, just for your own notes and, and to be able to quickly send an MP3 when you're done recording, just send it off maybe to your team for notes or to someone for transcribing, you can add another recorder in here that grabs both of them. And so that will now grab an MP3 recording of both tracks. So they'll both come in here left, right, into the recorder, and I can choose where, again, date, time, recording. Let's just say unified recording. You can do high quality MP3, even 128 kilobit per second MP3 is gonna be fine for what you're probably doing if it's a, just a conversation. And so then now, I don't have a call going right now, but I could hit record, and I'd be able to record both the AFF on individually. I'm just gonna see here where these are going. So, um, just for the sake of this, I'm gonna put it to my desktop. Choose, I've got a bunch of mess on my desktop. 
but we'll just do that. On your time, desktops, just so we can easily find them. And so if I hit record, it'll give me a couple of files. I don't, I'm hearing myself twice, so I'm just going to turn that off. <laughs> oh, it's going to start Skype up for me. Um, and I don't need it to record screen flow. Okay, so that gives me, should give me a couple of files on my desktop. So now I've got guest recording, my mic recording, and then a unified recording of the MP3. That's simple. That's how it is. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions about how that might work. So this is if you're wanting to record individual tracks, but then have one unified file for quickly sharing out because that, that file, the MP3 that you have here will have the same time code stamp. So like when, you know, I started talking at two minutes and 30 seconds and this person's quiet at two minutes, 30 seconds, you want a note to your editor, let's say, of uh, please cut out Chris at two minutes, 30 seconds, it, he coughs um, or that the guest was sneezing into their microphone or whatever at that point or whatever kind of changes you want to make, that MP3 file will match time code wise with these files. And so then it makes it easy to have that right away as soon as you're done recording without having to mess around with an editor and, and do things like that. So I hope that answers your question, Matt, <laughs> as well as anybody else who's happened to search for this and finds this video. If, in case you're not aware, I'm a podcast editor for hire. Lemonproductions.ca is my business. And I'd love to talk to you about how I can help you edit your podcast so you can just do the podcasting side of things, the talk conversations, the talking part that you enjoy doing. And I'll do the editing part that I enjoy doing. And I'll see you in the next video, whenever that might be. If you have any questions or suggestions for videos, please pop them down in the comments below. I know there's a loopback there's lots of requests for loopback videos, and I want to get to those. Uh, I just am trying to keep up and maintain the uh, client work that pays the bills. YouTube, unfortunately, is not paying any bills, but it's a fun thing that I love to do. So I will get to them eventually if you have patience, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye.